What's going on, guys? So, uh, nice move today on Lucid. Actually, the last three days we've been putting in a very, very nice day ever since coming off this bottom channel here. That bottom channel that I'm talking about is the linear regression channel 50. That price around $35, $36 um, for Lucid, you know, was acting as an area of support over the past, you know, month, month and a half. We did get this nice pop. The breakout here over the 50-day moving average gave us a nice, nice move over 43.28 all the way here to 45.75 and then to highs 47.66. So what I want to point out and note today, a little bit of an indecision candle here on Lucid, meaning that there is a little bit of a tug of war between the bulls and the bears, uh, kind of closed right in the middle of this candle. So with that, we... You know, this is going to be in a trading range. So the range that we're going to be watching here is this five-day moving average, okay? So this green line here on my chart, this five-day moving average, which is a price of 42.50, as well as the 50-day moving average. So with that being said, that 50-day moving average is going to act as a form of support, as well as uh, the 50-day moving average. Those are the two levels that we're going to need to really keep an eye on. Um, if we're looking for a little bit of a bounce on Lucid and we think that this is going to potentially come down here, test the five-day moving average, give the 20 and the 10-day moving average enough time to uh, travel up, then potentially we could see a little bit of sideways action before we get this next move to the upside. And then that next break over 47.66 would be the entry. So there's two possible entries here. We either let this dip into this rising support, try to snag that uh, Lucid stock at a price of 40 $41, $42 and a half. Just keep these moving averages uh, on the top of your brain, the five, the 10 or the 20. If we can pull into those moving averages um, and then get a bounce off of those levels, I, I'd be very, very interested in potentially bouncing Lucid somewhere around this area, okay? If you don't wanna play the bouncing game and you're more of a breakout trader, what you wanna do is you kinda of wanna let this stock do its thing for a little bit, whether that is come down, whether that just, just means trading sideways. What you're looking for is a break over the top side, $47.65. As soon as we break this level, this is where you're gonna take it. You're gonna obviously use this rising Bollinger Band, the rising five-day moving average as your support guides. You know, any close below those, especially any close below the 50-day moving average, you're gonna have to use as an absolute stop. <clears throat> Price target for that, $53.68. That's going to take us back up into this top channel here where we can see we had a lot of resistance uh, previously going back to the middle of November and December. So not a bad move on Lucid here. Um, again, as soon as tomorrow comes, we can't be overzealous and just, you know, buy the stock at any price. Buy it here, buy it here, buy it here. You know, we got to just let it. Patience, patience, patience. Let the stock do its thing. Um, you know, either we're going to come down then we're going to trade sideways for a little bit and then we'll see a clear move to the upside or we'll get this initial break here with no follow through uh, intraday and then we'll come below if that happens. So if we get some sort of move intraday where we get above this 4766, however, we cannot hold that level. And then before the days close, we start to lose it and come back down. That's when I would be thinking about trying to bounce the stock off the five day moving average, potentially off the 10 day moving average here. Um, you know, let's see where this 50 day kind of matches up with these rising supports here. Just keep that on watch. And until next time, guys, I will see you guys all in the next video. If you guys want to join my discord, that link is down in the description box below. Um, also, give me a thumbs up on the video. Leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys all on the next video.